Catherine, the Princess of Wales, previously Kate Middleton, was determined to have cancer and is going through chemotherapy, she said in a video on Friday. This week, nearly three months after Kate announced that she had been diagnosed with cancer, Prince William provided an update on Kate Middleton's health. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. One veteran asked William whether Kate was getting any better while he was commemorating the 80th anniversary of D-Day with World War II veterans in Portsmouth, England, on Wednesday. Kate, who imparts three kids to William, declared in a video message in spring that she had been determined to have malignant growth in the wake of going through stomach a medical procedure in January. The kind of cancer hasn't been made public. As per Kensington Royal Residence, Kate began a course of protection chemotherapy in late February. Since announcing her diagnosis, Kate has remained out of the public eye. Her return to official duties, according to the palace, will only take place after her medical team has granted her permission. William likewise put a hold on from public obligations after Kate's finding was declared. He got back to work in mid-April, visiting a charitable association in Surrey, where volunteers gave him cards of kind words for Kate. William took over for King Charles III, who was also diagnosed with cancer this year, to commemorate the 80th anniversary of D-Day. The source stated that we must prioritize and safeguard his ongoing recovery. It was advised that the international event later in the afternoon may be a step too far at this stage, given His Majesty's other commitments on the day. This means that each event and day must be carefully calibrated. The palace noted that Charles was still undergoing treatment but had been authorized to remove some public-facing duties when the king resumed public duties toward the end of April. Charles's diagnosis of cancer and the treatment he is receiving have not been made public by the palace. Charles joined his significant other sovereign Camilla, as well as William, in gathering with veterans on Wednesday in Portsmouth. At the Portsmouth D-Day ceremony, Prince William told a veteran who inquired about his wife Kate about her health that Kate would have loved to be here. William was an usher at the wedding of Olivia Henson and Hugh Grosvenor, Duke of Westminster. About four hours outside of London, the couple tied the knot at Chester Cathedral in Chester, England. While his wife, Kate, the Princess of Wales, has remained out of the public eye since announcing in March that she had been diagnosed with cancer, William was seen mingling with guests at the wedding he attended alone. Additionally, the wedding was not attended by Harry, William's younger brother, who currently resides in California with his wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and their two children. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry celebrate Lilibet Markle's third birthday. Both William and Harry selected Grosvenor, a lifelong friend, as the godfather of their eldest children, Prince George and Prince Archie. During her treatment for cancer, Prince William provides an update on Kate Middleton's health. The types of cancer that Charles and Kate were diagnosed with have not been made public. In the wake of his wife's and father's diagnoses, William has been attending events alone in recent months, as he did Friday at Grosvenor's wedding.